I'm Priyanka Yoshikawa. As you know, for the past several weeks, we've been bringing you the program from our studio because of COVID. And while there are still some restrictions, the state of emergency was just lifted and we can finally head outdoors and show you some interesting sights in and around Tokyo. Today we're in a place called Shinkiba, a waterfront area of Tokyo where you'll find numerous offices of lumber traders and processing factories. The name Shinkiba literally means new wood place, a lumber yard where wood would arrive from across the country by boats. We'll be visiting a place that's related to that history this time. In the Edo period, centuries ago, Kiba, meaning wood place, was located further inland in the Fukagawa area, which sat on the coast. But as land was reclaimed, a new wood place, or Shinkiba, was built in the 1960s. A five minute walk from the station, this is an exhibition space displaying high grade wood from around the world. The facility is operated by Kajimoto Meiboku Ten, a company specializing in such products. I understand you deal in natural wood products. Why did you decide to set up an exhibition space like this? We deal in natural wood, choice wood and we set up this type of exhibition space to give regular customers, the end user, an opportunity to actually see and better understand what they are. This looks like a traditional tea room. Please take a closer look. This room is about the size of four and a half tatami mats and there's a section to prepare and serve tea. A key feature of tea rooms like this is that they're constructed using thin and delicate timber. As you can see, the ceiling is low and the room is designed to be aesthetically pleasing from the perspective of when you're sitting rather than standing. The facility is housed in a big building, which combines a storage space for the wood and exhibition spaces. He takes us next to a showroom of traditional Japanese rooms on the second floor. We constructed two actual rooms, each about eight tatami mats in size. The idea is to be able to compare the design of the room on the right and on the left. They're in a completely different style. In front is what we call a tokonoma, which is like an alcove, and it uses logs called maruta as pillars. The right side is the tokonoma, and the left is called tokowaki. Together, they're called hondoko. For people who aren't able to have something as complete as this, they can have a pillar like that, with the tokonoma on the right and a closet on the left. Old pictures are also displayed here. I see some pictures here. What are they all? This is an aerial photograph of Shinkiba. It was taken in the mid-1970s. If you look closely, you can see lumber and logs floating on the surface of the sea on the left-hand side. It's what was called a lumberyard, where they would keep the logs that were transported. They are left floating on the water? Yes, in the sea. Won't that damage them? They don't get damaged. It helps remove the water inside the wood and keeps insects away. There are a number of benefits, so it's not a problem. Has the Shinkiba neighborhood changed? When we moved from the inland district, 100% of the companies that could relocate to Shinkiba was in the wood business. Times have changed and regulations have been relaxed. So now all kinds of businesses have moved in. We're taken to the third floor where choice wood is displayed. Wow! This is a showroom for choice wood brought in from across Japan. 
After seeing the tea and traditional Japanese style rooms, customers can come here and actually choose the type of timber they want to buy. In the back, we have wood that's widely used in Japan. What's this? The Ministry of Agriculture Award. There's a market for choice wood, much like you have for vegetables and fish. So the best products in the market are presented awards. This wood has a type of circular burl. The surface of the wood has knots. And below, you get this roundish grain. This piece has an especially big number of that and is very rare. The value and price of choice wood changes depending on the grain. It's not that easy to understand. That's why we display actual pieces and give explanations to customers so that they can choose and buy the best wood. You can be very particular. You can choose what you really want.